AMP1 has its own record out. The record out is an analog record out, maybe one of the best in the industry. I've been involved in many re analog record outs so far and um, designing those and I, I spend all my knowledge on that one. So you can go with any simple quarter inch uh, plug into your mixing console, put it in a full range PA speaker system or whatever and it will sound really good especially if there is a speaker that drives the air. So, you know, electronic on the analog side will emulate the frequency curve of a guitar speaker. Um, and I've done a lot of fine tuning and adjustments to get this as close as possible in what is possible in analog technology. I have to admit a real speaker with a real microphone is still the holy grail. Why? Because it's so complex. With analog technology you can do a lot but you get very far and if you have another speaker reproducing this you get pretty close and it sounds very good. But if you have recording and you want you're after the, the, the highest or best uh, authentic signal possible there are also ways in the digital world to get um, a speaker emulation, especially with the IR, uh, impulse response uh, kind of things that are now available. What this is, is actually like a picture of uh, a frequency picture uh, of, of, the, of a speaker. And this is getting more complex and more complex. I will show you on my mixing desk. We will compare this recording out to some IR um, filters from your program and the real deal which means a very good speaker and a very good microphone. But the easiest way is hook this up to any full range speaker system, be happy and it sounds really good. So now I'd like to compare the recording out of M1 with a mic'd up cabinet which I have which is my special cabinet with a special microphone which I have worked on years to get a good tone and some direct recording with some impulse responses. So first this is direct recording out. <laughs> Next is the mic'd up speaker cabinet, which of course will sound best. Here we go, mic. And the third channel I got here is I'm using the speaker out with a DI box to reduce the level and then go into my DAW with a impulse response that I have here. So this is the sound with an IR filter. <laughs> Now back to the recording out. Okay, so what I've done is I compared the three sources we have. One source is the real microphone, as you can hear, is still the best. Second is recording out, which is the easiest to use, but of course it has a little compromise. And then uh, the IR. In the IR world, we can load different kind of filters in here. Let's have another one and see how this sounds. Uh, oops, sorry. Switch it on again. This is IR. <laughs> Yeah, 
that's pretty authentic. But still, if we go back and compare it to the real microphone, that's the real deal. So in a recording situation, I would try to make a, get all the signals and maybe make a mixture of all the signals or use whatever you like best for the, for the sound. But it, this is what is possible in this world. And um, I believe um, the direct recording out here is pretty good, but uh, still the real deal still wins. And on the digital domain, you can do a lot of good stuff. That's recording with M1.